Hello producers, it's Özgün here. Today I will show you how to layer your bass lines. So we will go for a sub bass, a mid layer and a top layer. We will blend them and see how they will sound in a track. If you're ready, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, we are in the FL Studio right now and we have a melody like this, a bass melody. Okay, let's assign this to a spy preset that I liked. It will sound like this. Okay, first of all, we will press Ctrl L and assign this to a new mixer channel and I will call it mid bass because we will add a separate sub bass to it. For this, I can use the spar again, but let's don't forget to name it meat and let's create the new one as sub. I'll copy the same MIDI to it and I will assign it to another mixer channel and we should blend them in another channel, call it base final or base bus, whatever you name it and send them to here, like this. We can use only one sidechain and they can affect all of them. It will help us time and CPU. For my sub bass, I will use the Spire factory preset sub bass. I really like it. But we need to match the polyphony modes, both of them. So it's in mod 4, log is open, drift is open. And it's like uh, the 12 o'clock in this knob. So I should match my portamento and the mod same. We are trying to blend all the bases as one big giant sound. That's why they need to act same. And let's hear the sub. So we need to get rid of the higher frequencies in the bass line. For this, I'm going as high as G, so my cuts should be around like this. With this, we are having more controls of the sub and the mid separately, so we can design and process the, the, this sound in a more professional way. I cut it in the 110 Hz. I will just copy this this preset to my mid bass and in the mid bass if this high cut I will make it low cut just the opposite so they will fit together so well let's hear them together okay now I will add one high bass base to it. That's why I'm cutting some of the highs from my mid bass. That should enough. And let's clone this and find ourselves a good high bass. I will assign this to a new channel and call it high bass and I will root it to bass bus. I really like this. It has a really good highs and I like the how it punches. So we need to get rid of the lows because we already have our low ends. Let's hear them together. Uh, first, we gotta match the mods. I feel like we can feel the highs better. So I will search one more high bass.
Let's mix them in terms of volume. And maybe we put some saturation to the high base. And even to this second high base. Let's hear with the kick. It's too much. And also, we can use a glue compressor to glue them, obviously. I love to use the glue preset. Let's hear it. 4 decibels of gain reduction will be enough. So, we are using fast attack and fast release. Ratio 2 to 1. Range, I want it full. No such any. And after that, you can tweak it with your equalizer. And just be sure your mid and sub bass doesn't have any reverb or something on it. It can mess with the low end. Let's add them some drop elements and hear how they will sound in a mix. Yeah, today we'll talk about how to layer several bass sounds as unique bass sound. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and you can apply this on your productions. If you enjoy this, please give, comment, subscribe and likes to me. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.